Hey, it's Glendon. Welcome to Stage 4, LLC Preparation, the Philosophy of Risk. Why you need an LLC? Asset protection. The chance of you getting sued is quite small. The chance of someone taking advantage of you is quite high. When going into business with someone, you need to have some spelled out protection and roles. The LLC with the proper operating agreement is a great way to do that and gives you legal grounds to stand on and to prevent certain things. I'll give you an example. When you set up your LLC, there's going to have to be some people who handle the banking. My advice to you is one officer in the company, and this is why. If everybody has access to the bank accounts, could be a problem. Someone could lose some checks. Someone can have an ATM card. The more people who have checks, access to the checks, access to the debit cards or the Visa MasterCards, the greater your risk. You have one person who is the officer on the corporate checking. If you have ADP, anybody can go in there and cut themselves a paycheck. So there's ways to get money out there if the person isn't around. But part of the beauty of the rule of law is in very simple terms, you can create yourself a great deal of protection and insurance. Now, you hear many people say, get an LLC. But they don't go into the why get an LLC. There are some businesses that you could run as a sole prop for 20, 30, 40 years. Never have a problem. Never worry about getting sued. It's usually going to be a single member LLC or a single, you know, just sole prop. There's, there's just not a lot of issue there. You, If you're just so many things you can do. If you're looking to scale if you're looking to be bigger and better things, you will definitely need an LLC or you might even need a C Corp, depending upon your goals and ambition. If you're going out and getting venture capital, which is equity investment in your company, you're going to need a C Corp because with a C Corp, every time someone says, hey, here's a million bucks, you can go, hey, here's X amount of shares of stock. But if you're not going to do a venture type company, you have no desire at any point in the future to go public. An LLC can be the best thing for your company for perpetuality, which is forever. Just really depends on what you're doing, who you're selling to, who you're partnering with. But when you get to bigger business, when you start doing bigger deals, when you start adding employees, Having an LLC is a must because I'll give you an example. I have a parent company and Mac Daddy Media is a child company under the parent company, right? So let's say some stuff goes down with because the employees are getting paid out of Mac Daddy Media. Something goes down with Mac Daddy Media. Mac Daddy Media gets sued, but Cameron Strode Media has like six million dollars in the bank. Even though Cameron Strode Media owns Mac Daddy Media, due to the way that the articles of organization was written up, you can't touch that money. Even though it's like your wife goes out and kills somebody. It's not saying she will, not saying she's that kind of woman. Do they arrest you or do they arrest her? They arrest her unless you were part of the crime. Even though you're married, live in the same house and legally are one entity, they only going to put her in jail. That's how it works with the parent corp and the child corp. So there's a lot of ways that you can essentially hide money or move money over here. I'll give you a great example of say you're a young man and in these legal environments, when you go out and pregnant a woman, if you have an agreement with her, let's say you have an agreement. I'm going to give you two variations here. You have an agreement. You wrote it down. You got proof of that agreement. She can't get child support from you. Let's say what you are doing like the average person. You have no agreement. And she comes after you for child support. If you have an LLC, that child support order is going to come in your name and surname. It's not going to come in the name of the LLC. So you can have $6 million in that LLC bank account and they cannot touch it. 
Now, if she hires a smart attorney who does some digging and find out that you have an LLC and they drag you in there and then you profess, I have an LLC. Yes, it's mine. Then they can start digging there. Maybe let's say they do that. They go ahead and they find out you have the LLC and then they start saying, hey, we want uh, bank statements and everything. And then you, the owner of the LLC goes like, we haven't made a profit. And then they go say, well, uh, let's see your tax files, tax forms. We hadn't made a profit. We hadn't filed taxes. There's nothing they can do. You have no money legally in your name. There could be six million. Oh, that's just company money. That's payroll money. They just can't arbitrarily go in there and just suck that money out because that could cause injury to people who are not party to that civil suit that the woman who has your child who don't want you to be there, but wants your money is trying to get. And then they will have to calculate based upon, you know, phantom income, like what you would get on workers comp, which could be like 125 bucks a month. That's the power of an LLC. And that's why you need an LLC. Uh, another reason you need an LLC. If you're a YouTuber, like I am, YouTube has a rule. If they ban your channel and it's in your name and it's under your social for the, AdSense, you can't have another one. But if you have your channel like I do in the name of a corporation and the AdSense goes, it's in the EIN, not my social. Something happens to that. I create a new LLC. I create a new channel and life keeps ticking. This also works for Amazon. <laughs> this also works for eBay. That's why you need to put your Amazon account. That's why you need to put your eBay account in the name of a corporation. Mm hmm. Didn't know that, did you? Wealth building. The primary tenet of wealth building is to never lose money. The second tenet of wealth building is to put into play tools and devices to prevent asset depreciation and loss from impeding the accumulation of asset examples, contracts, insurances and bonds and LLCs and corporations. These tools and these financial instruments were designed to prevent you from losing money. That's why you can own a corporation and file bankruptcy personally, and they can't touch the money of the corporation because of the rule of law and how this thing was set up. That's why when people start talking about, I'm leaving America. Okay. There's virtually no other place in the world except uh, Britain, the UK, that has similar rules of law. No other place. That's why the government can't come in and just take your money like they can in some countries. So there's a lot of good things about being in the United States of America. LLCs enable probation free transfer of wealth. What does that mean? Let's say you are 70 years old, 85 years old. You have a corporation and you're getting ready to retire. You can make your children officers of the officers slash members of the LLC. And when you take that dirt nap, they already have it. So there is no, quote, transfer of wealth. There is no estate taxes. There's nothing. Uh, I live in a pretty well-off neighborhood, and I notice whenever I look for houses, that a lot of these houses are in the LLCs. So that way they can give that house to the child, or the child has maybe been on the LLC a number of years, and there is no wealth transfer tax. Another thing you can do with an LLC. I already talked about LLCs throw monkey wrench at the child support proceedings. LLCs enable you to control and manage the sets and property in the in the blind. Let's say that you are Mac Daddy Real. You you got a net worth of 20 mil. You got cash here. You could go to Wyoming, Mo Montana, some of these other states, create an LLC, put those assets and cash in those LLCs, and nobody knows who owns them. Now, if these LLCs do not do business with anyone, they can't be sued. You can't figure out who owns them. You can't sue them if they don't do business. It's a wonderful device. LLCs allow you to eliminate personal risk on corporate activity. Say, you know, what's the example of if something happens with Mac Daddy Media, it does not impact Cameron Stroh Media, even though Cameron Stroh Media owns it. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Now, here's something that many people miss. The price of an LLC and compliance costs, that is the LLC, the administrative fees of the LLC, the CPA to make sure that your stuff is financially correct, is a pittance in compared to leaving all that you work so hard for to build 
open to collapse to random chaos. Let's say you're a sole prop and you've been in business 20 years. You never had an issue. You go ahead and you're driving drunk, which is wrong, and you hit someone's car. The attorney finds out you have in the business. They're coming after everything. Your house, your car, your insurance policy. Yes, your life insurance policy. All of this because there's no physical, there is no legal barrier between you and your business. It is very cheap insurance to prevent chaos. Now let's get into the philosophy of risk management. Uh, if you don't know who Franz Fallon is, he's often credited as the father of terrorism. Yes, the father of modern day terrorism. Each generation must out of its own relative obscurity, discover its mission, fulfill it or betray it. Now, I am a fan, Franz Fallon fan. I believe it is incumbent upon you, the citizen, to take your liberty, your rights, your future, your profits, your all that's on you. And it's very much a military style mindset. I feel that I'm at war in the marketplace and to win, I have to kill people, not physically kill people, but metaphorically kill people. And with LLCs, it is the ultimate risk management tool. That's what it's all about. It's just about managing risk because for the price is cheap. Plus on another thing, when you invest into risk management and when you really read the, the books with no pictures and the boring titles about wealth building, you be start to change. You become more in tune to the true things that you can do to build wealth because Let's just talk about bullets in the gun since we're in the war. Your parent company is your gun. Each LLC in under the parent company are bullets. The more bullets you have, the more things you can shoot, right? Part of the reason that so many people leave themselves wide open for chaos and calamity is they don't want to be responsible for their success. It is just easier to stick your head in the sand and pretend that it doesn't exist. I've talked about it before. I was one of those people who had to go to child support court and I frustrated the hell out of the judge because I, and I will give you my risk management plan. But my first thing was I knew the law. I, you know, she went to New York. I'm in Georgia. They had no jurisdiction over me. See, I knew that and I never gave jurisdiction nor did I confer. So that was my first barrier, which worked. But the second barrier was everything is in an LLC and it's not a single member LLC. So it ain't all my money. So that was the second barrier that I was like, okay, if they do violate my rights and I have to go to the Supreme Court and fight this tooth and nail, they can only get so much money because once again, the law states as a man or a woman, child support is only a percentage of your income. So if you have no income, and she was in the state of New York. You know what child support is if you have no income in the state of New York? $25 a month. Still didn't want to pay it, but paying $25 a month or paying $5,000 a month. Hmm. It's a win. And this, this is all about the philosophy of risk management. You put up layers and you could call them your fit financial forts and your financial guns. And you don't have just one. And this is what kills people because if that one thing does not work out or if that one thing collapses or that one thing is destroyed, they in turn are destroyed. So you'll hear me talk more about risk management and wealth development processes because if you own your house outright, if you have another house that you rent out and if you own your cars, own every stick of your furniture and have absolutely zero debt, you are wealthy. You're not billionaire wealthy, but you are wealthy because you have, you're what's called asset rich and you have an asset that provides income. You're wealthy. Now, this is where things become a little twisted with the world of hustler porn and the world of, you know, unless you've making 20 million in four years, you really ain't doing shit. That's silly. If you go ahead and build a business that makes 150,000 gross, maybe it's a one person, three person business. You run it well, you manage your money well, 
you pay off your house, you get some rental property, you keep the company going, you, you buy a building for the company. You can retire in style. Because uh, one of the things that we were having this morning in the discussion on Facebook was, you know, people talking about millionaires, like they're everywhere. You know how many millionaires are in the United States of America? 10 million. Now, if you put qualifiers in there, it's like how many people of the, of the 10 million are worth 3 million, then that number drops down to probably 800, 900,000. Then when you move the qualifier up to 10 million, that number drops down to probably 300,000. So when you start talking about wealth and money, because, you know, the Internet is full of hype. If you notice, I keep these courses, I keep the thumbnails somewhat subdued, kind of classy, because I don't want to woo you with hustler porn. I want to woo you with potential and the opportunity for you and your family to have a great life and for your grandchildren to have a better life and for their kids to have even a better life. And that's how people become wealthy, fat and happy. All right, this is the end of stage four. Just to prep your mind, we're going to get into some more details with LLCs. And when I do the live webinar, then you can ask your questions. All right, see you in the Facebook group.